Hi, Daniel Lombard from Divide Defense. I'm here in South Africa with Leo Prinzler. We're going to be shooting the Gladiator Maximus plates again today. I just did that a couple of weeks ago with Chris Peranto. We're going to start off via a 308 armor piercing round. All right, whenever you're ready, send it. All right, let's go check out what happened. All right, so what we can see here is the polyethylene ceramic in there. The 306 was a much bigger impact. This seemed to have penetrated a little deeper. In the back. Didn't go through, but we got quite a bit of back face signature. So we're gonna try a few more and just see what uh, the result is. Well, what I've seen so far is I'm pretty sure that he's going to hold up. So uh, proof will be in the pudding. You can see the ceramic on the inside as it absorbs the energy of the, of the bullet. On the second shot, we've got a penetration through. There's a bend in the plate there, you can see there. So if he's going to impact there, probably going to have the same result on that side. One hit is what One. the NIJ standard is. My experience, having done this a few times, using 3006 and just 308 ball, we've got multiple hits out of it, held together correctly on the first. I wonder if the fact that he hit it precisely in the middle had something to do. <laughs> we, we, we weren't that good last time. <laughs> going straight through at the back fractions of the probably the ceramic that came through there. It ripped the seams open. No penetration on normal ball after three hits with an AP. It ripped open the, the entire plate. But the layers here did manage to stop the bullet from penetrating. It'll easily stop 308 ball after it's been compromised as long as you don't hit in the same spot. These ceramic tiles are what break up the AP round. It'll stop a regular ball round all day long. 338 Lapur coming up. This will be an interesting test to see. Weapon of choice in combat areas around the world as a sniper rifle. My prediction with that momentum, it's probably gonna go through. One way to find out. Yeah, it, it penetrated for sure. Yep, see a 338. Straight through. Not even close. Yeah. Impact, it's an in and it's a straight out. And that's the Swiss P armor piercing round. As expected. Yep, I expected that. Yep. Be able to lock it in the nice yep. tight. He's gonna fire standard 556 five, ball just to see if you could use a plate that was already compromised. And whenever you're ready. Right, right on the edge. Third shot in there. Was not compromised. Might have caught the bullet here. Almost no bump at the back on, on 556. But with this to body, this won't have much of an effect onto the target because it's trapped within the, the pocket of the bulletproof. Again, this is already compromised. Try and shoot a few rounds roughly in the same area to see if multiple hits with a standard ball round will will hold up. It will definitely stop the 23. Not the plate, but the but the other material, the layers. Either got a hole in one, because I saw something go through the back. I think what happened there. was, when he shot here, the, the plate tilted like this. And went out the side. And he went out the side. There's no penetration other than the 338. The spool and the jacket and some of the core of the 223 being captured by the material and contained. There you can see it. I mean, there's quite a substantial few layers left that wasn't compromised. What we're gonna do now, start with a clean plate and let's just see how the plate would stand up if it wasn't compromised. The goal is for all eight to be stopped. So whenever he's ready, you can go ahead and send a few. Yeah, she didn't. Second shot. Second shot, yeah. But we're still clear on the back. Zero compromise, everything was good. Very minimal back face signature, as you can see. We're doing 308 ball now. We're gonna do the same test. Fire four rounds of 308 Winchester ball or 7.62 by 51 NATO. Again, I have no doubt that it will pass that no problem. Besides, I like to come out and play and shoot cool things. <laughs> On that edge, the small ceramic, yeah. that line is compromised from this shot. Well, what I'm liking about this it's a clean line here. Yeah. So this is still, this is not compromised. Yeah. 
No, it's still good. Clearly it hasn't gone through, uh, but obviously because it's not supported on a body or against something, we're getting a lot of the energy bleeding out and ripping through. But like I said, the important part here is easily stopping them. First time I'm shooting a Bihar when we shoot a helmet, so. 124 grain, nine millimeter ball round of ammunition. Shoot from about 15 feet about here. Let's hope I don't flinch. <laughs> <laughs> That should buff right out. Turn this away. Nothing. Little. Small little bit of a, I think it just deflects. Bounce right off. Yeah. The angle of hit, because it's a round curve, nine millimeter and the slow speed, it's just gonna ricochet. Uh, a bump, but, it wouldn't but, no, even... but no penetration. Okay. Ah, very little. You can see a small little bump on the back. That bump is probably going to be absorbed. No, it's still in here. But again, you know, the material absorbed it. And it's actually shot very close to the edge. That's quite impressive. You know, in combat, yeah. the <laughs> enemy doesn't ask where, where you want to be shot. He just shoots. He's going to be shooting it with a 40 Smith & Wesson. More impact than the 9mm. No, nothing that didn't go through though. You can see there's the bullet. There's lodged. the bullet. Yeah, there it is. Look how it imprinted the Kevlar into mm. the actual bullet itself. From my point, oh, it was a successful day and I'm in Africa shooting again, so it's not a bad day. You know, the more rigorous the, the technology and the plates can be, the better for the operators out there. I will definitely recommend Gladiator Solutions as a body armor product. And I'd also just like to say thanks to Leopards Valley for the venue uh, and the outstanding accommodation.